Round top clocks, obviously we know how they got that name, are another uh, style of, of Connecticut shelf clock, mantle clock that you're going to see. And uh, obviously the lines are simple, but, um, but compelling as well. You can see where the, the round top of the case corresponds with the round of the bezel and a nicely stepped progression here. While we're at it, while we're looking at this clock, we can learn a little bit more too, because we see the little A in there. That uh, indicates that we're looking at an Insonia clock company clock. That's their, uh, that's their insignia, their logo. And we also are able to see in this case, although not clearly, the uh, uh, lettering down here, which also indicates that this clock was manufactured by the Insonia clock company. So clock makers, as we've learned, are, are not particularly bashful. They want you to know who made the clock. They want to give you information on the front of the clock, if they can, as well as in the back and on the movement or underneath the, underneath the dial, if you were to start taking it apart. So again, another nice thing about clock collecting, you can find out, uh, you can find out who made the clock pretty easily. I have a, another example of a round top mantel clock. They didn't all have to be as plain as we see here. You can uh, actually see where we have some curved molding around here. This is a better clock in a number of ways. This one was marketed by Bailey Banks and Biddle in Philadelphia, a, a carriage trade jewelry store that sold nice things. We have beveled glass, convex glass, carved feet. So another round top clock, but definitely an upgrade from the one we were looking at before.